So in the previous video, I used the string sub function to get the character before the cursor. And it turns out that we have the minus one for both the starting position and the ending position. So without this minus one, it actually gets two characters, one on the left of the cursor, another one on the right of the cursor. So the example worked because we didn't have any character on the right of the cursor. So let me just demonstrate. So it works fine initially. You can see only one letter being printed. But once I go into the word, you can see it's printing two characters now. So the comparison would fail at this point. And it is similar with the dot. So it gives me only field and method. But if I go inside the word and type dot, you can see now it's back to the default with all the snippets. So the fix is the minus one from both starting position and ending position. So now it should work even if I go into the word and press dot. You can see that it's only giving me field and methods.